Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. As I promised you earlier, I'm gonna make a video on add a guest user to your Azure Active Directory so that you can share your report and dashboards in Power BI to the external users. That means the users who are not from your own organization, they are from somewhere outside they can be from the different organizations or that can be some other email address domain like Gmail, Hotmail, etc. So in this video, we are going to see how we can quickly add a guest user and we can share our reports with them. So let's get started. Before you begin, you should make sure your organization's external collaboration settings are configured such as you are allowed to invite guests. By default, all users and admins can invite guests, but your organization's external collaboration policies might be configured to prevent certain types of users or admins from inviting guests. If you don't know how to do that or what kind of settings are available, in my last video on Power BI admin tutorials under the tenant settings, I have explained this, but I'll also provide a link in the description section where you can go and check other settings. There are certain steps that we need to follow in order to set up this account. The very first is that you have to sign in into your Azure portal as a user who is assigned a limited administrator directory role or the guest inviter role. Make sure you have set up already your Azure account. If not, then you can sign up for a free account. But for that, you would need a credit card. With the help of your credit card, you will get $200 worth of account credentials that you can consume at any point of time. And also, I would like to highlight that Microsoft won't charge anything from your credit card until unless you upgrade your account. So during the trial phase, you can just use the free stuff over there so that won't be a problem you just need to log in into portal.azure.com and over there you can set up your account but make sure you do this using your workplace or school email address if possible and also make sure it's the same account that you are using to operate your power bi account that is very important the second step would be search for and select azure active directory from any page Third would be under manage select users and fourth would be to select a new guest user and lastly on the new users page select invite user and then add the guest users information. That's all we need to do and that's what all we are going to do today. So guys the very first you have to log in onto your Azure portal so I'm gonna log in into my portal.azure.com and here I have to provide my account details. As mentioned you earlier, you should always use the same account that you are using to operate your Power BI account and that's gonna helpful because it's gonna be in the same domain and you would probably have all the privileges that you need to invite a guest user. Now I'm on my Azure portal. I have already set up my account. It's a free trial account where I get 200 USD worth of credit so that I can utilize them. I can learn whatever I would like to learn. And for that, we need a credit card as I explained to you earlier. Don't worry, Microsoft won't charge you anything from your credit card unless until you upgrade your account. Over here, on my left hand side top ribbon you can see that it's saying upgrade from your trial subscription. If I'll upgrade this only then Microsoft is going to charge me. And also you will get a subscription over here only once you will add your credit card details. Otherwise you won't get a subscription. So you need a subscription in order to create any guest user into your Azure directory. You can create certain resources over here. And very soon we are going to come out with a new Azure series as well where we will learn Azure data engineering related stuff. That means whatever you are looking on my screen now we are gonna learn all of them one by one by one. So every week I'll start to create new videos on Azure so that you can learn something new in Azure as well. So over here our main motto is just to go into the Azure Active Directory. 
I can see over here is there. If you are not finding it over here, you can even search it. But make sure you have a subscription. For example, if I'll click my subscription, you can see that currently I have this Azure subscription one. This is my trial subscription, which I got it once I add my credit card details over here. If you want to create any more subscription, you can click on add button and there you can create a subscription. You need to fill out the details and you would be able to create it. But right now I don't need it. So I'm going to go back to my home page. Right now we just need Azure Active Directory. Either you can select from here from your dashboard or you can just directly search from here Azure Active Directory and you will see there is an option. Just click on this. Now what we are going to do over here, we are going to add a guest user and in order to do that, we need our guest user's email address as well. If you are logging on over here after a long time, then it can take some time to set it up. Now I can see that on this page, I have user, I have guest user, I have group and other information. So we need to create a new user or we need to invite a guest user. So I can directly click on this guest user. Here I have two options. Either I can create a user over here or I can invite. On this page, you will learn it's saying create user. Create a new user in your organization. This user will have a username like this, BI Consulting Pro, because my domain is BI Consulting Pro. However, we don't want to create a user in our own organization. We need to invite someone external. And right now I'm going to use my own personal Gmail address to invite myself. So for that, what I can do, I'll click on this invite user, which is saying invite a new guest user to collaborate with your organization. The user will be emailed an invitation they can accept in order to begin collaborating. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna type over here my first name, then my email address. Make sure it's a complete email address, otherwise it won't recognize over here. Then you can again type name. After that, I can write a personal message. Whenever we are inviting any guest user, we can write over here a personal message to them where we can write something like this. So you can do this yourself it's just a custom message it's a typical example it doesn't necessarily it should be like this it's up to you what kind of message you would like to do over here not only one person you can add that particular guest user in a group as well if you would like to but i don't want to create any group i just want to keep this user as it is then there are a couple of more settings over here like block sign in if you would like to block and if you would like to allow the user to log in on the basis of location that also you can mention over here for example i can mention singapore so if that user or the guest user in singapore only he would be able to log in and then you can provide some additional details over here like job title that's it that's all the details you need to fill let me go through once again first you need to come over here on this page new guest user where you have to choose the invite user then we have to fill out the name email address of the user first name last name only fields with this asterisk mark you need to fill them those are the mandatory otherwise it's up to you whether you want to fill other fields or not and then we are just gonna click on this invite button once i click on this invite button it's gonna send an email and over here, if I'll click on this notification bar, it said successfully invited the user. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to log in into my personal email account and I'm going to see whether I have received that particular email or not. So now guys, you can see I received this email from my Azure Active Directory where it's saying, please only act this email if you trust the organization represented and blah, blah, blah. And I have to accept it in order to do that. So I earlier sent to myself as well to just test this account and this was the original email where you can see I have this accept invitation as well. So whenever you are receiving or whenever your guest user is receiving, they have to click on this accept invitation only they can start using after that. Also if you accept this invitation, you will be sent to this, 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 this. So you can click on this whenever you are going to accept it and then you have to accept everything over here so once the user is going to accept all the terms and conditions 
the guest user is gonna come over here paste similar to this now this part has been done we have invited our user now the other things what we can do we can add the apps as well or hide the collection but our main purpose over here to invite someone so that they can view our power bi reports and for that now i need to log in into my power bi account so let me log in over there so guys this is my power bi account over here you can see audit at biconsultingpro.com i have logged in i have my power bi pro license and now I want to add that user for certain reports. I want to invite him to use certain reports. So what I can do, I'll go over here under my demo workspace. There are a couple of reports over here, which are the sample reports from Microsoft. So now quickly, if you would like to share the report or you want to grant the access to that particular guest that you just invited, what you can do, you can come here under the access and you can just start typing his email address like I did it. So now you can see Ajay Sharma 2061 at the gmail.com which was my ID. So now you can see there is an ext coming and then be a consulting pro dot on microsoft.com. We just need to click on this. We can add it as a member admin or viewer the way we want and just click OK and add that's what we need to do and now you can see that my guest user has been added over here so this is the way that you can add any guest user into your azure active directory and then can start sharing content with them so you can share your dashboard reports or app anything you would like to share with them so guys that's it for today and you have learned how to add a guest user into your azure active directory and then how can you see them into your Power BI portal where you can add them for the different workspaces or you can share different apps, dashboards or reports with them. Get in touch with us if you have any further queries or questions or you can comment in the comment section. Stay tuned for more exciting videos and don't forget to like this video, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates.